Hi guys, I've got what I think is some uh, really interesting uh, results from my first tests, Thing things I weren't expecting. Um, uh, but it's, it's quite a lot of data, so um, I was going to have this as one video, but it's, it's going to run into two videos, so sorry about that. But uh, I can only upload a maximum of 15 minutes to YouTube uh, from Premiere Elements 9 and um, that's the way I like to upload my uh, videos. So uh, anyway, um, here we go with the first part. Hi guys, uh, as I said when I uh, posted the first video, I didn't know where I was going with this uh, HHO project, but I've carried out a, a series of trials now and I got some interesting results. Um, in fact, I, uh, I've reworked the trials because I, uh, I thought maybe I'd made a mistake. But as you know, I'm not interested in producing vast quantities of gas. I'm interested in the efficiency with which that gas is produced. And uh, I've found some uh, quite interesting results. And I've, I've got them in uh, sort of um, uh, tabular form and in graphical form. And I'll show you those. But essentially what I've done is used the 100mm by 100mm um, uh, test cell with a 1mm gap and I've used that with water from my dehumidifier. So I know all about putting salts in and increasing the gas flow and all, all of that good stuff so um, bear with me. Um, I was just interested in getting some sort of baseline and, and understanding a little bit about what happens. And what I've done is I've measured the uh, gas flow with the little 10 millimeter um, monitor that I made in the previous video, and I've got the results. And I did tests at um, uh, a range of voltages from 5 to 30 volts, and I've got those figures here. And um, so I've got the voltage and the current. So by multiplying the, the volts by the current, I get the watts. And then I've measured the time um, uh, to fill the uh, 10 millimeter chamber uh, at 5 volts and at 10 volts, etc. Um, and then I've calculated uh, how many watts per milliliter of HHO produced and um, it's really quite surprising the results and um, I'll, I'll show you those in, uh, in the same in, in tabular form and in graphical form. Um, this is a quick look now at how I set up the experiment. I've uh, carried out a number of trials um, uh, with this cell which you've seen in the previous um, parts of this uh, uh, this series of videos, uh, HHO videos, and um, I've got water from the dehumidifier in there. I've carried out a range of trials at different voltages and I'm interested in looking at the efficiency at which gas is produced and I've been really quite surprised by the results, so much so that I'm, I'm reworking them today to make sure that I haven't got any errors. Um, and th that's what this video is going to be about. So I'm using um, uh, the little power supply and I'm, I'm going to work the cell at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 and 30 volts. So I'm going to be working over a range of voltages and I should be measuring the current uh, in each case. So it will be voltage on this meter Let's set that to 5 volts. Uh, voltage there and current there. And then I'm measuring the, uh, the gas flow in my uh, little monitor that I built in the last video. Uh, these are the conditions working at 5 volts. I'm getting very, very painfully slow uh, gas production. Um, but remember that this is a means to an end, so it's going to take quite some time for that to produce 10 uh, millilitres. Um, but that's uh, 5 volts. 
I think we can call that 5 volts can't we that's 5 volts and um, 140 milliamps and uh, looking at the cell there's uh, there's very very little activity um, but anyway bear with me oh um, I've got the meters uh, here but I, I think uh, these uh, these meters are going to be a little more accurate so these are the conditions at 10 volts uh, I just had to reset my monitor as I, uh, I, I missed it uh, whilst I was videoing so uh, you can see the production rate at 10 volts is uh, uh, significantly more than at 5 volts which is what you'd expect this is 15 volts this is uh, 20 volts So 25 volts and this is 30 volts so this is how the uh, little gas monitor works for me uh, I let the gas out that's in there and simply uh, start timing when I uh, close the valve and then I'm uh, measuring uh, the time when I get down to 10 millilitres okay so that's how I've uh, achieved uh, these test results um, I think if you look at the, uh, the last four videos you can see exactly the setup I've got and how I've made the various things so it'd be easy enough for anybody to uh, copy and repeat uh, what I've done. Um, okay, I'll go through the results that I've got and um, hopefully uh, you'll find it interesting.